I'm still really pissed, guys. Honestly, I'm really, really pissed. I, I'm still, uh, I'm still finding it really hard to believe that uh, Tyson Fury actually won over Francis Ugano. Though the politics is just too much. Politics, everything, everything, in every aspect of our life, we play politics. It's getting really extremely too much, and it's choking. It's really choking. This is not what we wanted for from our politics, huh? This is not what we really wanted. Politics supposed to give a clear view, the truth of every situation. But now, and of course, the judges were three. Two gave split decision. Why one said Fury won over uh, Ugano? Really crazy. And why is it that they don't usually show us these boxing, these boxing uh, judges? I want to see these boxing judges so that uh, I think maybe some of us will go and uh, meet them at home and deal with them severely. They should show us these boxing uh, judges now so that we can ask them personally, how did you score so, so, so round, round one between uh, Tyson Fury and Francis Ogano? Tell us how you scored it. What did you see? You know, but those people are is are not often shown. <laughs> Maybe for their own safety, <laughs> uh, and I will totally understand. So, guys, it's crazy, man. Honestly, absolutely crazy. Everybody know Francis Ugano won that match, so they thought uh, Fury was gonna have light work, a soft work over Francis. They thought Fury would just. <laughs> Come into that ring, box up uh, Francis well because Francis is just a USC fighter who fight with his leg, fight with his head, fight with his uh, elbow and everything. But guess what? Who was fighting like a USC fighter as of yesterday? It was Fury. Fury hebbled, hebbled, uh, Francis Fury, uh, uh, Francis Ugano. He hebbled him. And just, just, just to show you how strong Francis Ugano is, he didn't even feel it. Because if Francis Ugano was a real professional footballer, a uh, professional boxer, he would have protested. And an extra mark would be reduced, three points would be reduced from, from uh, Fury. But he was so strong, he didn't even notice it was an elbow. He thought it was a punch. But Fury knew he was an elbow because he was trying to cut. He was trying to make Francis bleed. Dirty play. But yet, you see the winner from the loser. The winner, his eye is all brutally beaten up. You see the black eye. While the loser is still very much okay. He just the, lo the, the loser is like someone who hasn't even gotten into a fight. Meanwhile, the winner looked like he was run over by a train. It's really crazy, man. It's really crazy. The politics is just too much. Everybody was dissatisfied yesterday. Just imagine being a champion. You're a champion that is not respected. What the, what the crazy thought? You're a champion. Deep down in your heart, you know you're not respected as a champion. Because the championship belt was won out of rigged, rigging. They rigged it in favor of you because, because they want you to fight another boxer. They want you to see who the pair. They want to still put you at that level. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm so pissed off, man. Honestly, I'm really, really pissed off. I'm, we're never going to get over it. And thank God the world knows. Go and check the media. The world knows. The boxing match has further... Uh, reduce their credibility. You guys are turning out to be WWE. You guys are turning out to be world wrestling and entertainment. When match are fixed, it's just acting up on, on in the ring. You guys are becoming that. Then what is the need of placing a bet? Someone plays a bet. At the Sanya place a bet of fifty thousand no twenty thousand US dollars total and lost it. What was the need of betting on a sport that is rigged? 
What's the need of betting on a sport that is rigged? If they ask any of you to bet on WWE sport entertainment, will you bet? I won't dare it because I know it's always rigged. They are just acting. So why make it's crazy, man? Well, the world knows. Everybody is dissatisfied. Francis Ugano won that match in people's heart, just like the gladiator. Just like the gladiator, they know the champion, the people's the people's champion from the political champion. Come on, man. Uh Fury will be so so disappointed now. When you look at me, I'll be like, Oh yes, I want the belt. I want the belt. I want the belt. But meanwhile, deep down in, in, in his heart, he goes, Man, I lost that match. I messed up. I'll be better next time. <laughs> he knows, man. Well, let's have both pass that. Let's talk about uh, Mr. Easy. Just in case some of you do not know who Mr. Easy is. Mr. Easy is one of uh, Africa's superstar, well-known superstar. And uh, not just a uh, superstar, he's an entrepreneur as well. And he's a businessman. He's doing well for himself. And he's equally married, secretly. Married secretly. Married to a billionaire daughter. That is uh, no other than Temi Otedola. So someone said, wrote well, this, the person said, Mr. Easy net worth is around five million US dollars. Okay. He just quietly married Otedola's daughter. We don't even know that because of his new son when he released and his wife used time now, sir. Now how he take, now how we take no. But you will not get up to two million. At home and abroad, you want to host one in the town wedding with your wife that is still second year student who doesn't have money for departmental dues. Clap for yourself. <laughs> well, that's a really good advice. So you know, most of all, we want to do this uh, uh, this very big wedding and everything, you know, and. We do not have money, but we just want to do this big wedding. Massive wedding. Going, running in debt. You understand? Well, very good advice. So the only issue there is that he said Mr. Easy is worth five million US dollars. And that is an insult. There was a time Mr. Easy apparently sold one of his company for one one billion. And again, people who have met with Mr. Easy said, see, Mr. Easy has money. So, so once the Mr. Easy immediately responded by himself, he said, the evil genius net worth is not five million US dollars. That is disrespectful. Please correct yourself before I sue for defamation. Mr. Easy money is not it's not worth five million US dollars. That defamation of character. Platform. And then the founder of the platform, two years later, comes to you just when you're about to grow, you're beginning to scale. I think we had had a big deal with Airtel in Nigeria. And I go to him and I say, Hey, Chica, I think people love my music. And I say you music nah you're joking well the guy is extremely rich not extreme for me by extremely rich i think his money will be uh, going from uh 50 to 100 or hundreds of million us dollars but that five million us dollars come on man you are disrespecting mr easy honestly i be i even know you are disrespecting mr easy mr easy has way more money than what you think honestly then let's talk about one of uh, Nigeria superstar, uh, who, who is one time regarded as the Afrobeat king, that is uh, Whiskey Dio. So Whiskey Dio is currently staying in Nigeria, partying and relaxing himself. You know, he, had ten, he did his uh, bombs uh, barrier, spent like good five, I think they were close to five occasions, different occasions for his, his mom barrier. Remembrance, the church, the party, the candlelight, and also the church service as well. 
after the church uh, burial, remember? So he stayed there, also celebrated his wife's uh, birthday, that's Jada birthday in uh, Lagos, and then celebrated his son's birthday yesterday, the same Lagos. I think he's about to go back to continue his hustle because I believe uh, whiskey has spent so much money already, so much money coming to Nigeria to chill and the party and everything. He has spent so much money. Well, before he goes, he decided to visit, of course, uh, his godfather. I think Whiskey regards this man as godfather, the UB uh, CEO, chairman, uh, Tony Onumelo. They are really, really close. Tony Onumelo house is always open for Whiskey anytime he wants to come. You know, just to pay and whenever he will travel they always find time to uh, to hang out so whiskey they kind of like uh, went there to 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 uh, appreciate and uh just to greet him and everything man make me get more new rich way to me new men who go the welcome us entire house can i hear you saying man let there be money to that extent eh? Apart from money, no, no, no. There are many people who have money, but they do not control what respect. Sorry for saying money. You, you must be able to have uh, money and also good stand in the society. Reco well recognized for positivity. Well recognized for your craft, whether business or anything, and for your positivity in the in the in the in the, in the society. Because there are billionaires out there who are not even respected because they do not impart well. There's no positive impact into the society. So this is another way. Money will get you all you want, but when it comes to class and and uh, and and relationship, you you also need other stuff as well in order for you to get that. 